Hello to all my friends and subscribers. Assalamu alaikum to all my Arabic followers. Sukam tane, kesa he sangkaye to all my Pakistan and Indian friends. Magandang araw sa lahat. Buenos tardes. And of course to all the people who are watching. Good day to all of you. Welcome to my YouTube channel and here I'm gonna make AutoCAD easy and a handy tool for you. Today we're gonna talk about different methods on how to select the objects in AutoCAD. AutoCAD has many tools that lets you select objects efficiently and I will try my best to teach you on how to do it properly for a reason that when working in AutoCAD, you will spend pretty much of your time selecting objects. But you will definitely save a lot of time if you know the methods of selection and when to use it properly. Let's open a drawing. Go to Start Homepage. Explore Sample Drawings. Double click Database Connectivity and double click Floor Plan Sample to open it. Would you like to open file read only? Yes. The first method I'm going to show you is the simplest of all, the pick object. It is done simply by directly clicking an object. Let's zoom in somewhere here. Hover down your pointer to any object and when it is highlighted, click the object. This is how simple it is and you can also select as many objects as you want. You can also do this within a command. Let's say a copy command, CO, enter. Then your crosshair will become a pick box. This small square box that you can see on the screen. Hover down your pick box to any object. When it is highlighted, directly select your object by clicking it. You can pick as many objects as you want. By the way, if your pick box is too small, just like this one, you can resize it on the options dialog box. OP, enter. Then on the selection tab, there is a pick box size and a slider. You can control the size by holding and dragging the slider to your desired size. What if in the middle of a command, you mistakenly pick a wrong object? You can unpick or deselect the object by holding the shift key, then pick the object that you want to remove from the selection. Enter. Pick object is appropriate only when you need to select one or two objects. But what if you need to select all the objects with the similar properties? The second method, select similar, is perfect for this case. Without any active command, pick any object, let's say this text, and when the object is selected, right-click anywhere on the screen, then select similar. Then AutoCAD will evaluate all the object that is similar to the one that you selected and will be picked up. If you go to Properties Palette, PR, Enter, you will see that you have more than one selection. You can also control the configuration on how AutoCAD will base the selection for select similar objects. Whether you want it to be based on the similar name, similar color, or similar layer, and so on. You can do this in the command line. Type SE, and all the commands that starts with SE will appear. Just make sure that your F12 or the dynamic input is on. Choose this select similar. Then, select objects or settings. Type SE to go to settings. Then a select similar checkbox will appear. You can configure the basis for select similar as you like it to be. Another very useful selection method is the quick select and from the sound of it, it will definitely save your time and effort. Let's try. You can access the quick select by right clicking on the empty space on the screen. Choose quick select. Then a quick select dialog box will appear. You can also access this quick dialog box on the properties palette. Then you will find the quick select icons on the upper right portion. Click it, then you will end up on the same quick select dialog box. Let's say I want to change the size of this text because it's too small. And if I do it one by one, it would be tedious and consumes a lot of time. So using the quick select method, go to properties palette, PR, enter. It is an M text and under the text, select a property that can be a basis for quick select. So let's choose the text height which is 2 inches. Go to quick select icon, apply to entire drawing, object type, choose the M text. Because that text is an M text, properties, let's choose the text height. Operator equals value 2 inches. Okay, and all the text with the 2 inches text height will be selected. Go back to properties palette, then change the property, which is let's say 6 inches. Another example of quick select, let's say I want to erase all the furnitures that are present here in the drawings. And as you can see, these furnitures are block references. 
So I can easily select the blocks on the quick select box. But before I do that, take note that also the door is a blocks and this room number is also a block. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to lock the layer of this door, select the door and lock the layer. Now that it is, it is locked, select the room number and lock it on the layer. Then go to quick select, apply to entire drawing, object type, blocks. Operator, select all. Then all the blocks will be selected. E for erase, so you erased all the blocks, except those that are locked. Another useful basic selection method is the crossing selection. Crossing can be done by making a crossing window from left to right, such as this. Click on any empty space on the screen. I'm not holding anything on the mouse. Just move the mouse to the right and you will see this green crossing selection window and all the object that touches or crosses it will be selected. Then pick. If you want to deselect other items, just hold the shift key and do the usual crossing window. So you can remove the item from the selection. Then there is window selection. Opposite to crossing, it can be done by making a window selection from right to left. Let's try. Click on the empty space on the screen and move your mouse to the left and you will see this blue window selection. Unlike the crossing selection to the right and it is green and everything that touches will be selected. But the window is to the right and it will select only the whole object that is inside the window. So if I don't want to select this last row of the chair, I'm not going to put them inside the window. So even if it touches the window, if it is not the whole object, it will not be selected. Then pick. So let's say I want to select all these telephones. I'm not going to use the crossing because the crossing will select everything that touches it. What I'm going to use is the window selection and I'm going to enclose these telephones inside the windows. So it will be the only objects that will be selected. This window and crossing selection can also be done within a command. So let's make a command. Let's say erase, E, enter, select objects. You can do crossing where everything that touches the crossing window will be selected. Or you can do windowing. Only the objects inside the window will be selected. Another selection is similar to crossing and window selection. The crossing polygon and window polygon. Let's try. Let's make a command. Erase, E, enter. Select objects, type CP or crossing polygon, enter. Then you can create a polygon from left to right. And you have to touch all the objects that you want to select, enter. So these objects that turned into gray are the selected objects. Press enter. Let's undo and do the window polygon. Type E, enter, select objects, this time WP, or window polygon. Then, you can create a window polygon, but you have to enclose all the objects within the window polygon. The last selection that I'm going to show you is the fence selection, and it will work only within a command. So let's make a command, let's say erase E, enter. Select objects, type F for fence. Pick here, there will be a fence line that will appear and everything that touches this fence line will be selected. So pick, pick this, enter. So all these objects that turn gray are the ones that are selected. If you're done with your selection, you can press enter. If not, you can make another selection. Let's try WP or window polygon, enter. Then, pick this area or these objects. If you're happy with your selection, just press enter. So there you have the different selection method in AutoCAD. And if you know some other methods that you think that I missed out in this video, just comment down below. Thank you for watching. Stay home and healthy. Stay positive and God bless.